Welcome back to Eyewitness News this morning. That's the number to call if you have a legal question, 436-1212. We've got Chris O'Hara in the studio here to answer your legal questions if you've got any. Chris, thanks so much for joining us this morning. I wanted to ask you really quickly about, um, you know, people ask us a lot about when we report on stories. If somebody has not had charges filed against them, if they haven't been uh, arrested for anything, but they can still face punishment from their job. A lot of that has to do with what's in job contract. That's correct. A lot of it is in the employment policy itself and in the contract itself. Uh, obviously, when you're an employee the, that you initially agreed mm -hmm. to with the employer. You know, we deal a lot with criminal defense work, so we mm -hmm. run into this situation quite a bit. And normally what we obviously we tell people is, you know, we don't want normally a defendant or a person accused of a crime or a potential defendant speaking about the incident that they're alleged to have committed a crime in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that can run into a problem in employment situation, but there are even within the policy, oftentimes the policy isn't interpreted correctly. Okay. And, and a lot of times they are forced to cooperate with the employer mm -hmm. uh, regarding the uh, allegations of the incident. But uh, in there, a lot of times they obviously have ability to, if they haven't been convicted of something and there hasn't been a conviction itself, uh, a lot of times there's a way to... Uh, uh, avoid any any issues in the employment situation. Now the employer could have something like a morality clause in the contract. Is that kind of up to the discretion of the employer? A lot of it is up to the discretion of the employer and a lot of it uh, is it, a lot of times where they end up getting people is, mm -hmm. is the lack of cooperation. Uh, but you know we you know the fact that you, the problem is, is if a person goes in and cooperates, mm -hmm. oftentimes that can be to their detriment because right. there's no confidentiality between the employer and the employee. Mm -hmm. And that if they say something that, that could hurt them, then that often could get reported to the police. Right. So the important thing at that point is to consult an attorney so you know what your options are and mm -hmm. they can take a look at the employment policy. And we often tell people, and when you want to, this is why you want to consult with an attorney, yep. uh, that, you know, sometimes it's not always in your best interest to disclose that initially, even though that is something that could get you in trouble. All right. Thanks so much, Chris. Apparently, we're running out of time really quickly here. We're going to be right back after this break.